Hi, welcome back. I'm Professor Burton at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln in the Fashion Design Department. Today we're going to do Clue 3D Basics, showing you the interface. Let's jump in. When you open it, this is what you're faced with. You have one panel that is in 3D on the left and one panel that is in 2D on the right. You do have some basic drawing tools that we'll go over later, but for now, I'll just pull out something that looks like this. It's a rectangle and you can see that it appears over on this screen. This is called a pattern. And when you jump in and click and drag your middle mouse button, you can pan around the screen. Right click and drag and you can orbit, scroll your mouse and you can zoom. I suggest using a three finger mouse for this unless you really like moving around with your touchpad. It's just easier to model with a mouse. Hitting the space bar will simulate your fabric. You can also simulate using this arrow here. Control Z or Command Z on a Mac to undo. You can't tell how big things are in Clo 3D until you come over to a window. And here we're in the library window. We'll grab an avatar. You can drag it into the scene. Now you can see that my screen snapped to size in the pattern piece how big it is next to the avatar. Inside the 3D window, if you want to zoom in, left is for the 3D, right is for the 2D. Let's go into 3D for a second. Set up using your settings, user settings icon. The two things that will change are here. User interface, make sure it's set to inches. And you can change where the toolbars are on the screen. So I like mine on the left and the right. You can see here I'm in the 3D toolbar. And my 3D toolbar is off on the left here. It just gives me more space to work. But you can put yours on the top and bottom. Go to 3D. And let's make sure that you're using a unified gizmo. Hit close. Go back. Go to Preferences, Gizmo, and make sure you're using local coordinates. This is the Gizmo right here. And you have things like Rotate, and you can rotate on specific axes. And you can also move things by grabbing onto one of these three squares. This square will move things back and forth on that blue axis. You can see when I change positions how it follows me around. Over in your 2D window, you have lots of tools and the very basic ones are this edit pattern tool and that will change the scale, the proportions, etc. Just like in Adobe Illustrator. This is the edit pattern tool and think of this like the direct select tool in Illustrator. It moves those anchor points. You also have these drawing tools, your polygon, rectangle, ellipse, and spiral. And these are the very basic stitching tools that I'm going to show you in the very next video on how to stitch in Clo 3D. Good luck getting set up.